Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Honey Badger and Squirrel. I'm your host, Honey Badger. Squirrel? Squirrel? I'm Fish. Squirrel's this is your here. host, Fish. Squirrel's not here today. She's off doing some crazy adventure, collecting nuts or something, I don't know. Today we have a special guest, and this is going to be a special episode. We got the famous Fish, otherwise known as AKA Gigi. AKA Wanda and to me AKA Mama. So Gigi, how's it feel to be on Honey Badger and Squirrel? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we're just gonna jump right into our first segment. You guys know what's coming. Fish, Fish do you know what's coming? No. It's time for Scratch the joke. Shit. No, no, that comes at the that comes at the end. It's time for the joke of the day. This is cool because you don't you don't know my jokes, and hopefully you'll find them funny. What do dinosaurs use to pay bills? Scales. No, they use Tyrannosaurus checks. I should have known that. Tyr Tyrannos <laughs> Tyrannosaurus checks, like you know, Tyrannosaurus. What do you call ghost poop? Ghostbusters. Boo-boo. <laughs> Boo-boo. Boo-boo. Fish, why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? I give up. Got stuck in a crack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fish, why did the rapper thank the sidewalk in his acceptance speech? I don't know, get that. Because it kept him off the streets. <laughs> I like it. Fish, I saw Tom Hanks the other day. I asked him for his autograph. You know what he wrote? What? Thanks. I like that. Thanks. Tom Hanks, Tom thanks. T Hanks, thanks. All right, so we're going to move on to our next segment. Fish, do you know what our next segment is? The scripture. No, no that, that's it. I know, it's at the end. Okay. <laughs> it's the fun facts of the day. Fish, did you know that bacteria makes up to nine pounds of your body weight? That's disgusting. Fish, do you know how much skin you shed in a lifetime? It's a lot, but I don't know the number. 40 pounds. 40 pounds of dead skin is floating around your house. Gross. Fish. Fish, did you know that chickens outnumber humans? No. Yeah, it's true. In 2009, the estimated 18.6 billion, billion with a B, chickens. I used to have some chicken. It's okay, I got some chicken boots. Cool. Chicken stomping boots, you gonna stomp some chickens? No, I won't stomp them, I'll just walk around them. Fish, if you watched every YouTube video on YouTube, how long do you think it would take you? A lifetime. A thousand years, a couple of lifetimes yeah. actually. It'd take you a thousand years to watch every video on YouTube. Not only that, but you would be watching it for another thousand years after your thousand years because you'd have to watch all the videos that were made while you were watching YouTube part of that. We're, we're part of that now. It's a Dolly Parton fun fact. Fish, did you know that Dolly Parton in 2012 entered a look-alike contest and she lost? That's crazy. The, the Bible, Bible verse of the day. day. Alright, Fish, so this Bible verse is really important to me because it's something that I'm dealing with personally in my life. And I found it as I was looking for my Bible verse for the day for this episode. And I was like, wow, that is so awesome. And it goes right along with what I need in my life right now. Corinthians 3 and 21. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. This one's super cool because it shows us the heart of the Father. And, you know, I was wondering to myself, Fish, what... The word provoked meant. So I looked it up. The definition of provoked 
is to stimulate or give rise to a reaction or emotion, typically a strong or unwelcome one. I want this in my own life is I'm new to being a dad, even though I've been one for a little over two years now. Uh, it's, it's a very difficult thing and takes a lifetime to master and achieve. Uh, what I'm learning is to not provoke my children and, and by that could even be a playful uh, banter between one another that goes too far or a pushing of your child that goes too far and God tells us not to do this because it makes them discouraged and I don't want to discourage my kids and I've had a really hard time with this um, here recently so I'm just laying it all out there for our, for our watchers here fish and I think it's super important that we share our flaws with one another so that we can overcome them my personal struggle with this is has had well intentions behind it fish but I've just been going about it all wrong so I've got to reassess and uh, get this thing called conviction not condemnation uh, we're gonna cover that in a later episode because that's super important to know the difference but to get some conviction, fall on my knees and repent before God. You know, uh, one sin just leads to another and you really have to get rid of all that stuff so that you can be close to God and have the right things in your life so that he can work properly through your life. So Fish, I think it's a super important Bible verse and super good for people to know out there so that they're not making the same mistakes that I made. Uh, and so that they can overcome. You got anything to say about that fish? Yeah, I think it's awesome that you realize that you have that problem and reading the word, reading your Bible verses helps you realize that things that are in your life that shouldn't be there. So that's a good reason to read the word. Yeah. So that's awesome. And the great thing about God, you can repent, start over. Start over. Forgiveness is a big part of that too, you know? Yes. Uh, when we look at forgiveness, we got to look at things uh, how God would forgive. And God says that he'll throw our sins as far as the east is from the west. If you ever tried to fly east and reach the point to where you're going west, it'll never happen. You'll just keep going east forever. So God forgets it. He throws it into a sea of forgetfulness. Which is a hard thing too, because sometimes we like to say this little phrase like, uh, we'll forgive but not forget. And that's a dangerous place to live because it leaves room for, for all kinds of hatred and, and animosity between one another. So forgiveness is a big part of that. And one thing that I have to do, Fish, is forgive myself and move on and do a better job and be a better parent to people like Squirrel and my other children because it's super important to me and I want to be a good dad like my father in heaven is a good dad and my earthly father he's he's a good dad too you know he's done a lot and come a long way so I'm super proud of that super grateful for the uh, relationship we now have because that was kind of rocky and rough for a little while but God is a restorer of all things fish so fish i think that about wraps us up for our episode all right. so we got a little saying around here when we finish the episode and you gotta do your fingers like this and say peace i'm <laughs> out of here peace i'm out of here tune in for squirrel next time squirrel's gonna be back next time guys peace i'm out of here